hello guys welcome to solving solutions to unbound channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice to have you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use this normalized bond ratio to determine the extent or severity of bond that um, has occurred in this um, los angeles um, fire incident right good so the wildfire incident so we are using that as our study area and then the study area should somewhere be around um, this um, southern part in our imagery so we have downloaded them um, two set of imageries so we call one pre and then we call one post now pre is the imagery before the incident and then if we look at the imagery we are going to see um 19th of um november 2024 right good and then post is when um, the incident has occurred or maybe during the incident so we have about um, 14th of january 2025 so on today's tutorial we are going to show you using a remote sensing method using this particular ratio to what to measure the or detect the bond severity so the normalized bond ratio is a remote sensing index used to measure vegetation and detect bond severity in wildfire affected what areas so it uses what the reflectance properties of vegetation and bond areas in the near infrared band and then the short wave um, infrared band right good of the satellite imagery so if we are trying to use a landsat 8 or landsat 9 imagery there's a formula that says the nbr is what the near infrared minus what the short wave infrared divided by the near infrared plus what the short wave infrared now the near infrared and then the short wave infrared are represented by bands 5 and band 7 respectively right good so after that we are now going to finally know the change in what the nbr to now um, determine or uh, measure or estimate what the bond severity right good so there is a range of value here that shows that shows the severity of bonds we are going to see that as we proceed so let's come back to our arcgis pro and then from the arcgis pro we are going to assess what the raster calculator so come to geo processing and then we search for raster calculator right good so we have the um, raster calculator out we can decide to float it so we can have it um, wider on the screen so from the raster calculator we are going to write what the expressions we would use for the um, bond ratio calculation so we come back to our guide from our guide the formula says your normalized bond ratio is what band 5 minus band 7 divided by band 5 plus band 7 so we are going to do this for the pre and the post right good so we come up to the expression builder then we have what a bracket now if you look at the rasters we have here you are going to see that there is a prefix that shows the group it belongs right good because we have two groups here the pre and the post so it's easier for you to know if you are working with the pre data or you are working with the post data so we can just start with what the pre data so that's band 5 minus band 7 divided by we open a new bracket band 5 plus band 7 and then we close the bracket right then we click on run good so we have our first output and then the first output is what the nbr forward for the pre right good so we are going to do similar stuff or we are going to carry out a similar operation for the post right good so for the output raster let me indicate underscore post right good should have indicated underscore pre on the first um, output but since we did not let's modify that of what the um the post so we have them um, underscore post and then we still come up here this time around you can just um, highlight and then delete then we now scroll down to post and then we select them um, five minus seven so we have a bracket five minus seven we close that divided by we open the second bracket then we have um five 
plus 7 good so this is what the um, expression for the post right remember we are doing that for pre and the post that's the mbr for pre and the mbr for post so we click on run good so we can decide to close this and then maybe dock this back so we have our two mbrs that of um, the post and that of the pre right good that we have used what to to detect the bonds right good now if you look at the pre which um, does not contain pre but we know that it's pre you won't find any patch somewhere around the area of what incident right good however if you now put on the post you are going to see what some patches this shows what the availability of bonds around this area because this is the region in um, california where um, the wildfire has actually occurred right good now we can see it in black and white subsequently as we proceed we are going to have our final result in what a different color combination but let's just get to the tail of um, the tutorial so that uh, we can now change the the symbology to have them um, something other than black and white so coming back to our guide we have done the mbr for the post and the pre we now want to do what the change in mbr to um, know the bond severity so that will now be the pre nbr minus what the post nbr right good so we still come back to our pro and then we still what um, decide to float raster calculator we can decide to take this out once more and finally we now come to pre that's the mbr for pre minus the mbr for post right good instead of um post we now call this severity right then we run good we have an output we can close this and then have this docked back finally we can now decide to change the symbology to now show what the bone area so our final output will be um the severity we now change the symbology here now for the color scheme let's see this okay so this particular color scheme is fair enough because it helps us to what highlight the area where the incident has occurred in red right good so that's um quite good enough for um representing um burn ratio because of what the coloration so so far we have shown you using arcgis pro how to carry out this um ratio that is the normalized burn ratio using um, arcgis pro we have shown you how to um impute the formula to now get the nbr then finally we have also um, determined the severity using what the change in nbr between the pre and the post and then we now have what our range of values and then the range of values can still be seen from here right good so we have a um, minus 0 0.7 to somewhere around 0 0.9 the 0 0.9 region is the upper limit right good and then it's um, actually represented them um, by this area you can use a different color ramp with different color scheme for your visualization and then for estimating what the bonds you can use the pixel value or you can manually digitize to know maybe the area impacted by what the bonds so thanks for coming to class we open we have provided solution to this particular js and remote sensing related problem and we are deeply sorry for the pain and loss um, they are experiencing currently due to the tragic incident. You know, our thoughts and prayers are with them in this difficult time. And then we pray that they find the strength and healing the days ahead. And then they can have all the support to help them rebuild and recover um, most, if not all of their losses. So we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time. Bye.